Okay, this video is just a quick demonstration of how to um, put photo textures onto a house accurately, um, similar to what we've already done on the front, we're now going to do on the rear of the house. Um, go to File, Import, select the photo that you want to use. We've already reduced the size of the photos using GIM Photo. Import. Pick somewhere close to the bottom left corner, but not the bottom left corner. And pick somewhere close to the top right corner, but not quite the right top right corner. If you do pick right on the corners, it can flip the image, mirror it from left to right or from top to bottom. To start, um, positioning the texture, right click, go to textures and position. This brings up the markers. The bottom left marker, the red marker, is the place, the best place to start. Um, bring it down, pick a, pick a line. In our case, we, we want to be on the, the rainwater downpipe. Um, is about the center of where our house finishes and the next one starts. Follow that down um, until you get where you think the line of the bottom of the wall is and where the vertical join with the other house um, crosses the bottom of the wall. Place the red um, marker there. Pull the right, sorry, left click on the texture. Pull the entire texture down so that the red marker is positioned exactly where you want it. Spend a little time to get it accurate. Now the next one is the green marker. Left click on him, um, pick it up, again trace down the vertical line of the edge of the um, elevation that you're working on um, until you cross where you think um, the bottom of the wall crosses the edge of the wall. Place the marker, now stretch the marker out to the edge of the elevation. Um, if, you, if that shows up that your other marker is maybe a little off, reposition the red one, reposition the image, and now reposition the green marker to get more accurate. Already we're, we're getting approximately the right size. Now the next one is the blue one. Again, follow the rainwater pipe up to where the soffit meets the building because that's where our photo will end on the building. It's quite simple, pull it down to uh, the soffit level. That has again shown up that our red marker isn't quite on the bottom of the rainwater pipe. Readjust that. Readjust the green to bring that to get the edge of the building. Readjust the blue and we're getting closer. Now we go to the last one, the yellow one. We position it as accurately as we can on the photo. This time we're getting more accurate all the time. Stretch that out by holding down with the left button. And we want to be at the bottom of the soffit. I think we're now pretty close. Um, now we can position windows quite simply with the rectangle tool. Go around the window. I just go from top left to bottom right. Take a little time to try to get it as accurate as you can. Top left to bottom right. Top left to bottom right. And then it's a, a simple process with push pull to push it in, normally about 75 mil. Push the others in the same amount. We've got a little bit of tidying up to do on the edges of the windows. Hopefully this brick texture, uh, it hasn't lapped around the corner. Generally it does. Um, a little trick you can use is to take the texture from another elevation 
which is a brick elevation and it will put it on all of the sides all of the jams of the windows and to complete the sill we can try this I think it's going to look okay if it didn't look okay we could pick up a colour alter the colour to be uh, quite similar to the windowsill um, to complete the windowsill and there you have it in a matter of minutes um, a complete elevation with windows thanks